In this video, we will talk about blood supply of long bones. Long bones receive blood from following four arteries: nutrient artery, metaphyseal arteries, epiphyseal arteries, periosteal arteries. Number one, nutrient artery. Nutrient artery enters the long bones through nutrient foramen. It is found near the middle of shaft. It runs obliquely through the cortex and the nutrient canal. Then it reaches the medullary cavity, where it divides into ascending and descending branches. These are called medullary arteries. Now, nutrient artery has become medullary artery. During its course through the long bone, the nutrient artery, in the form of medullary artery, gives rise to branches at three separate sites. These branches are cortical branches of medullary artery, run in haversian canals of cortex. They are connected to periosteal plexus of capillaries on the outside. Central branches. It drains into the meshwork of medullary sinusoids of bone marrow. These sinusoids eventually drain into central venous sinus terminal branches. The ascending and descending medullary arteries reach the ends of long bones, where they give rise to terminal branches. These branches drain into central venous sinus. Some branches also anastomose with metaphyseal and epiphyseal arteries. Number 2. Metaphyseal arteries. These are branches of numerous arteries found near ends of long bones. These branches enter long bones through numerous vascular foramen located inner to epiphyseal line. They eventually anastomose with medullary arteries early, and later on, with branches of epiphyseal arteries. Number 3. Epiphyseal arteries. These are derived from anastomosis of arteries, around the joints, at each bone end. These branches enter the bone through vascular foramen, located outside the epiphyseal line, within the spongy bone of epiphysis. These arteries branch out to form end arterial loops that drain into epiphyseal venous sinusoids. Some end arterial loops pierce the compact bone, present under articular cartilage, to reach the calcified zone of this cartilage. In the adult bone, epiphyseal arteries also anastomose with metaphyseal arteries. Number 4. Periosteal arteries. These arteries arise from the muscular arteries of muscles attached to the long bones. These muscular arteries form a plexus over and inside the periosteum. Arterial branches arising from this plexus, pierce the cortex to anastomose with cortical branches of medullary arteries, running in the haversian canals. In this way, these arteries provide nutrition to the periosteum, and the outer part of the bony cortex.